Thank you, DJ Phil, for that. On a Friday night like this, you know that what's best is you have yourself some Showbiz 360, a great DJ on standby, a great guest right here on this show. You're very, very, very welcome. We're going to go straight into our first conversation for tonight, which is with the one and only award-winning DJ, most influential DJ uh, right now in the event space as well, 2021. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to DJ Viroski. Now, show me, show me, hey, uh, come on, hey, come on, bring it, hey, <laughs> I've never seen you dance. I can before. dance better than Giovanni. Can oh it? my goodness! That is, that is my aim. In no, life. Don't, don't bring Giovanni here because Giovanni is a dance teacher. He's a pro on his own. I'm tired of <laughs> Breathe in, breathe out, and drop, drop, drop. Yeah. I know many DJs don't dance. Oh. Mm. I mean, you see this one like this. <laughs> I, I don't think he can dance. To and, save his oh life. no, he can. He can what? do small leg work, but that one cry like he's managing. You know, if you see DJ Faculty dancing right now, you run away. Faculty doesn't have rhythm. No. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, he doesn't oh, have rhythm. He's my Shots friend. Fired. He doesn't have rhythm. Shots fired. Yeah. Uh oh, I said my bad. Because you have the rhythm. Yes, That's I what do. you're saying. Yeah. Is that how you translate that into your music? Yeah, I mean, small. 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 Yeah. Basically, I mean, I'm all about the rhythm. I've always been about the rhythm mm. from like day one, and it's all about music and stuff and all that for me. I see. Yeah. There's there's a saying that DJs are failed artists. <laughs> Did you ever want to be an artist before and then you realize that oh. this one, the beats is the way to go? Should I tell the truth? Yeah, yeah. Tell the, the truth. Shame I, the devil. The thing is, I have a very terrible voice. Like, you can hear my voice now. Yeah. So, I never thought of singing. That's why I stuck to playing instruments. Mm. So. But, you know, terrible is very subjective because, have you heard Timmy Dakolo's voice? Mm -hmm. Kind of raspy, yeah. kind of like this one as well. Yeah. But he uses it to sing. So, it's just a matter of practicing. But, but maybe I don't have good friends because people mm. like Kiddy. Kwame Uja are always telling me I don't have a good voice. Yeah, they, so. they don't want you to compete. Uh, yeah, I, think I think that's think so, what it yeah. is. They don't want Rockstar, you to compete. Rockstar, I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> so next year, by this time, yep. we'll be celebrating you and your sure. music. Nice one. You have a new one that's out, all correct. Mm -hmm. Again, you've done it. Again, mm -hmm. you've brought us a banger. Yep. I've seen the video. It's so fresh. Literally yep. a week ago, yeah. you dropped this one. Yeah. Tell me about the collaboration. You brought um, Adina on this one with Adina Kwame Uja. Tell me about the process. I think uh, everybody is always saying that I have Kwame Uja on almost every song that yeah. I have. The thing is, Kwame Music is Music Bay. Hey. He's always in the studio when right. I go to the studio. So we happen to have a lot of songs together. Okay. So there are other songs we haven't even released. So wow. this particular one, there was a vibe in the studio with Adina. Mm -hmm. And we just decided to make a wedding song, a love song. Oh. Like, so that I mean, you can do all the... Exactly. We, sometimes we are too gangster. Like, I mean, all my songs are... <laughs> Gangsta small, yeah, so I just decided to just tone it down a bit. I see. Is it because you have an inner gangster within you? Um, uh -huh. uh, Everyday cool level with your shades uh, and uh, things uh, like. Uh, I see. <laughs> you brought me to something about. We'll get into that mm -hmm. in a second. We'll get into that in a second. Okay. I still want to understand the whole, you know, vibe. Is that to say that you don't think about somebody on some beats that you put together before you call them in? You just no. do it and then you get people on. How, how does that work? Um, sometimes you play a beat and you know I produce yeah. as well. So sometimes you play a beat and you have this artist in mind. But sometimes you send the beat to them mm. and they are not feeling the vibe. Some of them also just jump on it. I have a lot of songs with other artists that okay. are not yet out. Why? But, um, next year. Next year I'm going to flash them with a lot of songs. Yeah, I have yeah. songs with Sarkodie, nice. with Kiri, Kwame, Shata. I mean, some international artists and all that. So, Eesh. watch out yeah. for DJ Virus yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see it because you've done a really good job in the past. Every song with DJ Virus on it is a 
banger, yeah, an absolute absolutely. banger. Yeah. And you know, we need a lot more of that, that kind of music as well. Because yeah. right now where the world is, you Somewhere. know, so low. Yeah. yeah. So we need music that will take our minds yeah. off of all of those things. Yeah. Um, on to the next, which... Uh, happens to be the fact that you are um, Shatter's uh, official DJ. Pa, 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 hey, pa, pa, pa. Oh, say it louder. Say it louder. Pa, 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 pa. Is that a sign? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. right. So, I mean, looking at what's going on right mm -hmm. now, I know that you posted something on, on Twitter. Yep. Um, it was just a one-liner, really. What, what mm. are your thoughts about whatever's going on right now? All of it. I mean, um, like I... Like I always say, mm. being in a prison is not a good thing. Mm. I mean, nobody jubilates going to prison. Yeah. So, I mean, a sad moment for us, but we are, we are, we are strong. We are mm. hopeful that we will come out and everything will bounce back. Yeah. yeah. So you are just keeping, keeping it positive yep. for, for yep. our gentleman there. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. Did, did you see anything like this happening? No, I didn't. Trust me, I didn't see, I didn't see this whole process happening mm. at all. But then it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I, I want to know how you felt when the news came out. You know, shots fired. Shatta cannot be found. Yeah? What is going on? Now, there were two schools of thoughts. I mean, mm -hmm. there were people were saying, oh, this one, there's a publicity stance. Mm -hmm. And then there were those who actually believed it. But Chale Loco, if mm -hmm. he happened. Yep. Yeah. So where did you stand? I mean, when I heard it, like, I was like, is this true? Because I called, I made some calls. I mean, I couldn't hear from anybody. Mm. So I was a bit worried because mm -hmm. I, I didn't know what was happening and all that. But then later, I realized everything was okay because, mm. I mean, I got through to someone and mm. I realized everything was okay. So I was, I was kind of calm. But then I think he was just trying to protect himself right. from what, whatever was happening because it's like when someone tells you you're going to get an accident mm. and you decide not to drive that day yeah. because you are scared of what's going to happen. Mm. So that's how I, I, I took the whole thing. So basically... I was just calm after. After. Yeah. Have you ever had an experience like that? You personally, though, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be a prophecy, yep. but like an, a near-death experience, maybe, where you still came out of, obviously, you're here right now. Yep. <laughs> yep. You know, you went through something like that. Like, can you share that experience with us? And how did you actually come out of it? Um, I've had that before. Mm. It was a scare. I mean, it wasn't a prophecy. Mm. I was driving one day, and um, all of a sudden, I just decided to check on my phone. Mm. Like in the middle of the road, mm. I just stopped and it wasn't even right because I just stopped in the middle of the mm. road and decided to reply a text message mm. from a very useless friend. Oh, hi, Kofi. <laughs> a very, very useless friend. Is that Kofi? So, is that yeah. Kofi? So watch out. Yeah. And I just decided to reply the message, which didn't make sense. Mm. So, the taxi driver just drove past me, mm. insulted me, of course. Oh. Of course, what I did was wrong. Mm. When he just passed, drove past me, a 207 just cleared him. So if I just moved, that would have been it. Whoa. That was like, wow, this is just, just like that. Yeah, believe me, it happened, and hey. I was like, wow, amazing. So, so even though it seemed useless, yeah, I mean, I think it's just God who stopped me from going. Wow, that's amazing. So, yeah. that's amazing. Hey, my heart. Yeah, it, was, it was crazy for me, right? <laughs> Amazing. But you're yeah. here. We thank God for that. Yep. Um, on to the next. I, I was thinking about, you know, DJs. Um, okay. DJ Virus is coming on the show today. Okay. And it's something that I've always thought about. Okay. You know, DJs, they stand all the time. Mm -hmm. They're playing music. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. But you're doing something else with it. You're mm -hmm. now doing production mm -hmm. and things like that with your music. What's the direction from this point on? Do you, do you see yourself forever doing, you know, um, how do you call it, producing and so and so? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've always loved production. Mm -hmm. I mean, I started playing instruments at the age of seven. Oh. Right, yeah, I, play, I started playing the drums at the age of seven. Age. I learned other instruments then. Mm. I've always wanted to be a producer myself. Mm -hmm. My role models are DJ Snake, Calvin Harris. Okay. Who are all like music makers. Yeah. So, I mean, it got to a level where I was like, okay, would, I can play music. Mm. Like people know Varsky can play music. Mm. I've played at concerts and everywhere. What is the next step? Yeah. I mean, so I just follow the steps of these role models okay. and they do music as well. Mm. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's try it and see if it's yeah. going to work. And hopefully... God has just done some things for so us. So some catch up for you. Right now, yeah. your household name. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, is, is, is it sustainable, though, the way you look at it? Because there are some yeah. people out there who think that to DJing do it, to do, not, yeah, yeah, you know, they struggle for gigs mm -hmm. and things, mm -hmm. but then where, where, where is it taking them? I think um, it is. For me, I can just speak for myself because mm. um, I've lived, what, everything I have is from DJing. Mm. Like, everything I have is from DJing. And it's been good. 
Mm. I think it's about taking the, the business as a business, not mm. just play music because you can play music. Because when it comes to DJing, there's a marketing aspect, there's HR, there's accounting, there's everything. Mm. So you treat the whole DJing thing as a business and you become a brand. Because mm. I mean, you just don't make money off playing music. Mm. When you become a brand, you make money from other companies who want to use you for endorsement yeah. and other stuff. Which you're enjoying now. Small. Yeah, 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 yeah. They hey, should come more. Hey, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We'll be chilling with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, when you treat it as a brand, mm -hmm. it goes well for you. Because, I mean, it's been good. It's yeah. been good so far by his grace. Amen. Hallelujah. I think you're one of the, the Ghanaian DJs who's doing it. You know, mm -hmm. you're, you're living it and you're making people see that it is really possible. Yep. I mean, gone are the days when you had to follow a certain line, you know, mm -hmm. what we call the white collar yep. jobs. You had to do that. But for people who don't know, you you actually went to uni and yeah, you I'm actually studied business as yep. well. Yeah. So this is a, a business guy. What do you have your master's in though? Risk management and insurance. Come on now. Did Can you, you hear that? I was, just, <laughs> I was just learning some probabilities. Hey. And after that, uh -huh. I was like, my boy, my mom was like, "That's right." What's wrong with this guy? Yeah. Like, but is you're using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're mean, using it for yeah, business, so yeah. it's all good. It's amazing. What's what's what? What should we look out for from uh, your camp moving moving forward? Um, more music, more mm -hmm. bangers, and I just want to thank people for the love. Mm. The support has been crazy. It's been amazing from day one. I remember the first time I got a million views on YouTube. Hey. Like, I almost went crazy. Come I was on, like, a DJ from Ghana getting mm -hmm. a million views and. It's, it couldn't have been possible without the support of the people that yeah. I do this for. Mm. I mean, now we should expect more music from me. Next year, like I said earlier, mm. I'm going to flood the system with a lot of songs. I have a lot of unreleased music and the artists are always like, Charlie, you don't go release the song and all that. Yes. So I'll just drop it. I beg you people. Joey B and the rest. <laughs> I beg you. It's coming up. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to it as well. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to it. And I wish you all the very best with business Thank as well. It's much. DJ Vyroski. We're going to go on a quick commercial break. Of course, we'll enjoy his music as well. When we get back, we continue with conversations. Don't go anywhere. Keep calm.